On December 16th, Jetpack Compose published a new alpha update for Alpha 09. And since they published a new update, I feel like I, you know, there's no point in me using like an old version. This is a like a cutting edge course. So we might as well do the updates in like in the course itself. So in this video, we're gonna be updating to Alpha 09 and I'm gonna show you everything you need to know, all the other things that you need to update if you're gonna update to this new version. So of course, the first thing that we want to do is go into our build.gradle app file and scroll up to our Jetpack Compose version. Let's change this to alpha 09. And this is not going to work, but I'm gonna sync it and I'll show you that it's not going to work. So I'm gonna run it and you'll see that uh, you can't, it does not work. So there, as you can see, when I try to run it, it gives me some errors and these aren't particularly meaningful, but uh, so I'll just tell you what the issue is. The issue is alpha 09 requires a different Kotlin version. You have to use Kotlin version 1.4.21. So we gotta go up to the compose options section up here, change this Kotlin compiler version to four point uh, or 1.4.21 and also change this Kotlin compiler extension version to alpha 09. This is going to match the alpha 09 for the compose version here. And we're not done yet. We need to go into the build.gradle project file. So let's open that up, go up here and change this to also Kotlin version 1.4.21. But if you have been watching this whole course, you know that now this is going to introduce a new problem because originally I actually used that old Kotlin version for a reason. I used it because if you go into our build.gradle uh, app file. Up at the top here, I'm using the plugin Kotlin Android extensions. Well, this plugin was actually deprecated with a new Kotlin, with this new Kotlin version. That's why I was using the old version. So now we, we can't use this. We can't use that plugin, which also means that we have to go into our domain model and we can't use Parcelize because this was part of that Kotlin plugin. So we also have to remove this parsable implementation on the recipe. Now, this isn't the end of the world. You know, originally I said that, that we needed to have this parcelable because we're going to be you know, saving it to the bundle. But really the reason for that was we wanted to, I wanted to like save it to the, to the instant state so it could be restored after process death. But you know, whatever, it doesn't really matter. We can just save the ID of the recipe and then restore it uh, when the app starts. So we can just query it again from the network. I know that's not like the best practice way to do it, but when we actually move on to the next course that comes after this one, the database caching one, then the what we could do is you cache that recipe, you save the ID, and then you restore it from the cache. So that that's a perfectly fine thing to do. Nothing wrong with that. So then we don't need this parsable implementation. So it's all good. Just a different just a different way to go about this. So if you're wondering where to find information on all of these new releases, you just go to developer.android.com, Jetpack, Android X, Releases, and Compose. And then if you scroll down a bit, so you can see I'm not at the top of the page. If you scroll down a bit, you can see the versions here and see the, the releases. So here's like the, the release version, we're using Alpha 09, and then the different kind of packages that were changed. So if you wanna see what was changed, you would just click on any of these links. So let's you know click on the animation one, for example, and we can see the changes that Alpha 09 has to the animation package. So if you scroll down, you have some bug fixes, you have some other kind of description stuff here. So if you, if you want information on that, this is where to go. So that's it. Don't forget to leave your engagement. Don't forget to leave a like. Here I am at work on a Saturday for you guys because I'm trying to make sure I produce at least one video a day for this Jetpack Compose course and it's totally free. It's gonna be on YouTube. It's also gonna be on my website. And for those of you who participated in my thumbnail contest, by the way, uh, and if you don't know what that's all about, I did a contest where I said, if you make the thumbnail for this course, I will give the winner a free yearly subscription on codingwithmitch.com, unlimited access. Pretty, pretty awesome prize. It's like a $240 value for a thumbnail pretty damn good. I'm going to be releasing the winner of that today. So I'll publish that on Twitter. I'll probably put it on Instagram. So be on the lookout for that. Check out all the thumbnails. Everybody did a really good job. I was, you know, super impressed. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.